Hi, welcome to Shop Stop. Today we want to talk a little bit about springs and uh, load ratings for springs and mounting those. So what, uh, what determines the load rating on a spring? There are, there are a couple of things. One is the, the actual leaf thickness and the number of leaves. So if you've got the springs laying around, the reason that that's important is, is you, you've got an axle with a rating, but also, I mean, the spring has to be rated to match the axle. If you put a spring that's too light on a heavier axle, then that's going to be your weakest point. They need to be matched together. Well, another thing when you're talking about springs is, is how you're going to hang it. And we've got these hangers sitting here, and there's a, there's a certain distance they need to be set apart. And that's, that's predetermined, and you can look on the websites at some of the axle manufacturers and find that distance where you can uh, weld these hangers onto your, your frame. Yeah, that distance is going to be determined by the spring that you have, the distance between the mounting points and the spring. And we've got it set up here for a, a single axle where it's got the hanger as opposed to the, the equalizer that would go in the middle. So uh, go ahead and look that up. You don't just weld these pieces on and put them where you, where you think they ought to go. There's an there's a actual dimension for that. Now, not only do we have spring axles, we've got uh, rubber elastomer uh, axles too that don't incorporate springs so and they're easy to mount up under a trailer as well the problem with those is without the equalizer and if you've got double axles then it doesn't have that smooth effect going over the bumps yeah. so that's a few tips on springs mounting them and uh, and trailers ratings so we'll see you next week on shop stop <laughs>